There are actually three ways that you can start. The first way is um, you can actually add uh, utilities to your credit report, okay? So you can add utilities such as your cell phone, water bill, electric bill, um, et cetera. You can add it to your credit report. This will then report to your credit, and then this will also reflect positive payments that you've been making over a period of time. So that's the first way, adding utilities. The second way is adding rental history. So if you're not currently a homeowner, you can add rental history to your credit report. By adding rental history, this will then show the monthly payments that you've been making over a period of two years. And by you doing this, this will then allow your credit scores to increase and also for you to be able to start. Now, from there, I would highly recommend that you open up a secure credit card. OK, you can go to your local branch and go down uh, town or wherever your, your local bank is located and then tell them that you would like to open up a secure credit card. Put, you know, two to three hundred dollars down on your credit card and then just pay it back over a period of time. Those are three easy ways that I would say that you can start to build credit if you do not already have credit established. Man, that OK. See, now, right now hold on. If all of you are paying attention. First of all, if some of you are like, man, that's simple. I already know that if you haven't done it. Don't say nothing, because what he just said, I didn't know a couple months ago, <laughs> just so you can so you know how ignorant your brother was. With all the information and knowledge that your brother has, there were certain things that I did not know. Um, putting your rental history. Now, that's something that is I know it's a state by state thing. You know, it, it, it's adjusted. So your rental history, that's one major component. Also, your phone, your phone bill, that wasn't always there either. So now your phone bill can be used, your rental history, and of course your, your, your uh, utilities, your, your light bill, gas bill, all that kind of stuff. But all of that is on point. Then of course, a secured credit card. These are all three, these three components alone will help to bring it up. If you don't have any credit established, that will already do a good job. And I, and I know that again, from my recent experience in putting you know, my years of credit, uh, my, my years of uh, rental history, my phone bill, Man, I when I saw my credit score go from where, where it was to where it is now, just with those three components, it, it blew my mind. And these are basics. The brother hasn't even gone into, you know, the more intricate other things, which I'm sure he will with some of these questions. But just those alone are phenomenal. Uh, let me see. Next question here, my brother. Sure. Let's see. Uh, next question. Where can I apply for grants and how can you utilize trade lines? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you definitely know about that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, um, thank you, uh, Sister Cl uh, Clarissa. Now, to answer that question, I don't offer grants. Um, I, it's not something that I personally do. I know someone who I trust who do offer it, but I don't currently offer it. What I do is I help assist. Uh, I help assist clients with being able to attain uh, loans. Okay, um, and depending on what you're trying to do, right? Because we don't just help you with your credit, but our goal is to educate you about credit educate you about banking, educate you about credit cards, because this is a lifelong journey. The credit system will be here for a long time, you all, for a very long time. And so we want to make sure that we properly understand the system and we utilize it to leverage and benefit ourselves and our families, as well as for generations to come. So I want to answer that question about grants. Um, we, we don't currently offer grants. And the second question is how uh, and how can you utilize trade lines? Wonderful question right there. So we do offer trade lines. Um, and what we recommend is a few things. So I get a lot of clients, they say, well, can I can I just get a trade line? What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to purchase a home. Well, the first thing I always do is I have to take a look at their credit report first. Um, I have a lot of clients, they're just, you know, ready to purchase the, the trade lines. I don't recommend that if you have collection accounts on your credit report. The reason why is because trade lines are simply other people's credit cards that are then, it's like it's copied and pasted onto your credit report. So this is going to show the overall credit limit. This is going to show the payment history that this individual has been paying over a period of time. And then this is going to boost your credit scores. However, if you have collection accounts that are on your credit report, we don't recommend adding trade lines at that moment in time only because if you add trade lines to your credit report, if you still have derogatory items, then it's not going to boost your scores as high as it should. 
Okay, it's not going to boost your scores as high as it should because the collection accounts or charge off or even late payments is going to reduce the value of the trade lines due to the amount of points that it has been taken off of your credit report. So we do offer trade lines. It's very simple. You would just go to our website. You will purchase the trade lines there. And, and then what we'll do is we'll contact the original uh, creditor. Well, first, uh, we'll contact the car holder. They'll contact the original creditor. The original creditor will then reach out to the bank. The bank will then report it onto your credit file. And then you're going to see it on your credit report within a matter of um, the time limit that you will see. But we'll discuss that a little later. But to answer your question, you can utilize it, add trade lines to your credit report. And uh, from there, if you're trying to get an auto loan, if you're trying to get a personal loan, credit card, um, if you're trying to get your first home, I've done it all, right? I've done it all. Um, I've helped clients do all of those different things by just simply adding trade lines. But it was after we have assisted them with improving their credit. Very good question and very good answer. Very good. The main thing that everyone should be mindful of is it takes work. So so don't think that you can just, you know, purchase something, uh, a trade line that will then boost your scores to make your credit look good so that you can go get a loan and just get all this money you you. You want to be mindful that you're going to have to work at this. You want to adopt your discipline to make sure you stay on point with everything. All right. A lot of people, they just go and, you know, pay for something and these trade lines and things like that are available. And then they completely take advantage of it and damage themselves in the long run. That's not what you want to do. All right. So just want to just, you know, dovetail off of what, what our brother was saying, because that's that's what happens. You know, so don't think it'll be like the quick answer. You mess up everything afterwards. Um, and I think the next person, next question here says, should we pay off collections? And you were going into that with your uh, your mm -hmm. answer. My first, my first answer to that is no. And this is why. You shouldn't pay off collection accounts because for one, the collection agencies, they have bought the debt from the original creditor, such as the bank, uh, for pennies on the dollar. Generally between seven to 14 cents on the dollar, then they'll try to collect the full balance from you and then they'll try to collect the difference and then be able to make money from it okay do not pay off any collection accounts even if they try to blow your phone up <laughs> don't do it because they'll try to call you every day they'll try to you know collect it well really it's not their funds they're trying to make uh you know additional income by collecting the full balance from you although they bought it for pennies on the dollars from the original creditor now in terms of collection accounts the reason that I say don't do it is, for, well, for multiple reasons, but one, this is one reason why. It's because the creditor, they when they sold the account to the collection agency, when they sold it to them, they did not sell them the original document that you allegedly signed, okay? Because anytime that you apply for debt or credit, what happens is you have signed something where if it's a, whether if it's a, a, an e-signature or if you were in the branch, what happened was, they cannot legally, the creditors cannot legally sell your signature to the collection agency. Because of that, you don't owe the collection agency anything. Anytime you ask them what's called validation, according to the Fair Credit Reporting Act, they cannot provide you with quote unquote validation. And that's how we're able to get direct items removed from your credit report because when we ask for validation, they don't even respond. Mm -hmm. They don't respond. Because they know what we are referring to. Now, some of them, they will say, well, we have verified the account. We didn't ask for verification. We asked for validation. We know what, we know the difference between validation and verification. Okay? When it, so if they can't provide the original contract that you allegedly signed, this means that you don't owe them anything. So they can try to sue you. You know, we, we deal with that, you know, I've dealt with that, whereas that collection agency, they would try to sue clients, but not sue my clients that I'm actively working on. That never happens because the way that we dispute, we dispute legally and we keep a track record in a paper trail of everything. So therefore, you can't come after my clients. I'm referring to clients who were sued or offered a summons in the mail and they reach out to us and say, hey, I was sued by this particular uh, collection agency. Can you help me? And then, you know, we obviously help them from there. Um, you know, we, we also draft up a counter suit. We draft up a counter argument. The creditors, they don't get involved because there was a collection agency that actually, uh, filed the lawsuit, their attorneys. And what happens is they just leave, you know, they leave them alone because they know that we know. So they try to play on your ignorance. 
anytime they're trying to collect a debt, they're trying to play on your ignorance and also play um, into your fears. So do not play, do not pay any collection accounts uh, whatsoever. Let us take care of it and we're going to actually get them removed for you.